guys welcome back to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the tension developed in cable ab ac and ad required for equilibrium of this 300 pound crate so we have to find the tension in cable ab ac and ad now let's assume that the tension in cable ab is let's say t1 this is t1 and in cable ac is let's say t2 and cable ad is let's say t3 and this wire the tension in this wire will be equal to the weight of the crate which is 300 pounds so now first of all we have to represent this t1 t2 t3 and this weight is a cartesian vectors so we can write that t1 cartesian vector this is equal to t1 its magnitude times the unit vector from a to b since t1 is acting from a to b so we can write that t1 and the unit vector from a to b is the position vector from a to b divided by its magnitude so this is t1 and the position vector from a to b can be determined if we travel from a along x y and z until point b so from a we need to travel one feet distance in the positive j so that is plus one j and then from here we need to travel two feet in the negative x this is positive x we need to travel two feet in the negative x so i will write minus two i that is in the negative i so once we reach here then we need to travel two feet distance in the positive k so plus two Okay, so this is the position vector for T1, which is acting from A to B. Now we have to find its magnitude, so its magnitude will be 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square under the square root, and this magnitude gives us 3. So now we can write that this is T1 divided by 3, multiply by the position vector from A to B. So we can simplify that T1 Cartesian vector is we can multiply this inside right so this will be uh, minus 2 divided by 3 t1 plus 1 divided by 3 t1 this is in the negative i this is in the positive j plus 2 divided by 3 t1 in the positive k <coughs> now the next step is to uh, represent that t2 as a cartesian vector so we will write t2 and t2 is acting from a to c so this will be equal to t2 times the unit vector from a to c and this is t2 and the unit vector from a to c is the position vector from a to c divided by its magnitude so this is t2 now the position vector can be determined using that same method so from a uh, we need to travel this distance which is two feet we have to travel two feet distance we have to travel two feet distance in the negative j so i will write minus two j so we will reach here and then from here we need to travel two feet distance in the negative x so i will write minus two i and then once i reach here then we need to travel one feet distance in the positive k so plus one k now we have to find its magnitude so this is two square plus two square plus one square and this will again give us three so this magnitude is three so we can write that this is t2 divided by three and we can multiply this t2 divided by three with the position vector from a to c so t2 cartesian vector this is minus two divided by three t2 i minus two divided by three t2 j plus one divided by three t2 k so this is the cartesian vector representation of t2 now t3 t3 cartesian vector so now as we can see that t3 is only acting in the positive x so we can write that t3 magnitude times the unit vector from a to d and the unit vector from a to d is since t3 is only acting in the x direction so the unit vector from a to d is, is in the x direction so we can say that the unit vector from a to d is i so this is plus i so this is plus t3 i so this means that its j component is 0 and its k component is 0. Similarly, we have to represent that weight as a Cartesian vector. So, weight 
and weight is acting in the negative side direction so we will write minus weight times k so now since the crate is in equilibrium so we have to apply the summation of forces along x y and zero and that must be equals to zero since the system is in equilibrium so uh, let's apply the summation of forces along x that must be equals to zero so we have to add up all the i components so the i component of t1 is minus 2 divided by 3 t1 so minus 2 divided by 3 t1 the i component of t2 is minus 2 divided by 3 t2 so minus 2 divided by 3 t2 and the i component of t3 is plus t3 so plus t3 and this must be equals to 0 since the i component of the weight is also 0 let me write that this is this is equal to 0 i plus 0 j minus the weight times k so uh, this is a, let's say this is equation 1 now we have to apply the summation of forces along the y axis that must be equals to 0 so we have to apply we have to add up all the j components so the j component of uh, t1 is 1 divided by 3 t1 so this is plus plus 1 divided by 3 t1 then the j component of t2 is minus 2 divided by 3 t2 minus 2 divided by 3 t2 and the j component of t3 is 0 and the j component of the weight is 0 as well so this must be equals to 0 so now this is this is the equation which has only two unknowns so we can write that um, minus 2 divided by 3 t2 this is equal to 1 divided by 3 t1 or we can say if we multiply both sides of equation by minus 3 so we will have the equation like this so we will have 2t2 two two equals to t1 So now we have the relationship between t1 and t2 similarly if we apply the summation of forces along the z axis that must be equals to 0 again the crate is in equilibrium so we have to we have to add up all the k components components so the k component of t1 is 2 divided by 3 t1 so this is plus now the k component of t2 is 1 divided by 3 t2 and the k component of t3 is 0 and the k component of the weight is minus w this is equal to 0 so now we can write that 2 divided by 3 t1 plus 1 divided by 3 t2 equals to weight and now if i substitute um t1 equals to 2 t2 so this will be 2 divided by 3 into 2 t2 plus 1 divided by 3 t2 this is equal to weight and from this we can write that this is uh, 4 t2 divided by 3 so let me write that this is 4 t2 divided by 3 so now we can add up both of these so this will give us 5 divided by 3 t2 this is equal to weight or we can say that t2 is equal to 3 times the weight divided by 5 so this is t2 in terms of the weight similarly uh, since we know t1 in terms of t2 if we know t2 in terms of the weight so we can write that uh, t1 is 2 times t2 and t2 is 3 times the weight divided by 5 so this is 6 into weight divided by 5 so this is t1 and similarly um, from equation 1 uh, we can find t3 so first of all if you want the weight is given which is um, 300 pounds so we can find t2 so t2 is 3 into the weight is 300 pounds right so 3 into 300 divided by 5 so 3 into 300 is 900 divided by 5 this gives us 180 t2 is 
180 pounds. Similarly, T1 is 6 into 300 divided by 5. So, 6 into 300 divided by 5, this will give us 360. T1 is 360 pounds. Now, we will substitute this T1 and T2 values in equation 1. So, this is our equation 1. So, this is minus 2 divided by 3, T1. T1 is 360. Minus 2 divided by 3, T2 is 180 plus T3. This is equal to 0. And this will give us minus 360. So, minus 360 plus t3 this is equal to 0 and we can say that t3 is equal to 360 pounds so t1 is 360 this t1 is 360 t2 is 180 and that t3 is 360 pounds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibler's Statics.